Hey guys, um, I am in my dad's basement. Uh, I usually, we usually not do this for the review. I also changed the format of my camera a little bit, so I think I'd be, I'll be smoother, which will help with my Assassin's Creed game tonight. Let's play. Uh, so, Spider-Man 3 review. Spider-Man 3 was... It was a mixed bag. It had it had Sam Raimi stuff in it, and it had um, and then it had Sony shit in it. And um, Sony fucked with the movie because they wanted Venom in it. And um, when I first saw the trailer, when Spider Man was hanging, you know, and then you see his color, his real color. Um, but then you look in the mirror, like the, the, the glass, and then it's the black suit. I thought that trailer was totally appropriate. It totally worked for it. The only thing that was didn't, but, but, you know, so it built up a hype. It built up a hype, like, oh my gosh, Venom's really going to be in it. Um, you see, and then that's where, that's where it went bad, um... Because Sam Raimi didn't want to do Spider-Man, but unfortunately it did become his biggest hit trailer. Because it's like, oh, it's Venom, you know? It's Venom's going to be in it. Um, that's a true fact. People were getting hyped. I was getting hyped, and then I went and I saw it. I was like, I, I didn't really care about the critics when I was younger. Remember that? So I just kind of was like, oh, it's Spider-Man. He fought Venom. Look at that. Um, no. Now that I'm grown up, and I see the reality of it, the reality of it is, is that it did suck. It, it really did suck, unfortunately. I really have to agree with people on that. It really wasn't that good. Um, but that wasn't Sam Raimi's fault. Uh, he's a cool guy. I really think he got fucked in the ass by Sony with that. Because they are so greedy with it. And they were like, like, ooh, if we get Venom, we'll get more money. So anyway... Here's what happened. You start off, he's like, hey, it's me, Peter Parker. I'm how you doing? I'm Spider-Man. I'm all right. Stuff like that. Opening credits, like I said, main title screenshots of the past and the webbings and all that. Oh, a special of the, of the, of the symbiote going on the webs. That was kind of creative. That was probably Sam Raimi's idea. Great idea. Um... That was very that was appropriate. It started going south, I think, when um, it started going south as soon as I think the end. And then I think there were a few other parts too. Okay, so you're here. Okay, so like I said, he's introducing himself. He's saying how life is good, basically. How he's he's in love with the best person in his life he's so happy and stuff and and then uh, things are going good for him he's stopping the bad guys you know um, stuff really doesn't happen until the symbiote uh, hits the earth um, it, Basic, basically, at the beginning, just a, bit, a lot of setting up too much. A lot of too much setting up, like, the plot. I think shoving Gwen and Eddie in there was kind of stupid. Um, maybe not Eddie, because Eddie was, like... Eddie was kind of out of, out of out of nowhere type of guy. Gwen wasn't. Gwen, in the comic books, was his friend, was his friend for a while. Um, I think uh, they put her in there cheap. I think they should have... I mean, they were in college together, but still, it was kind of, uh, it wasn't a close enough relationship, I think. I feel like it needed to be more close because of the fact that they were friends. But then there was one scene where MJ was totally pissed at him about it. I don't know why. Um... She's been she's way too emotional about the whole uh, thing. Uh, well, at, no, no, she's not actually because before that scene, uh, there was a scene where he they kissed 
uh, when he's hanging upside down. The iconic kiss from the first movie. Uh, that was bad. I think he should have known better. I don't think Spider Man would. I don't think Spider Man would ever be like, "Yeah, go ahead, kiss me." No, 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 no. That's when Sony's fucking just doing what we want, right? <sighs> yeah, Sony. I think that was Sony's fault. I think that was Sony's fault. To build up a more of a heated rivalry, rivalry with Eddie and Peter. That's why he even puts the damn suit on in the first place, because he feels like he lost her because of him. Not much to say. I mean, that Sandman gets... We see Sandman get created. We see a little bit depth with him and who he is. Um, Harry comes out of nowhere while he's on the scooter, jumps him. He gets knocked out cold, by, and he hits a bar... He's in the hospital pretty much the entire movie until a little bit later, and then he's out of the hospital. He starts fucking with MJ. They kiss. Um, um, and this is after he gets the black suit on. So when he gets the okay, so when he gets the black suit on, I feel like I I understand like. It's working for me that the suit's coming on him. He's he's having a nightmare. He's dreaming about what happened with Uncle Ben, about the shot, because it still kind of messes up his head because because basically Sandman is the killer, apparently, in this movie. But bigger fuck up. Uh, this is Amazing Spider-Man's one mistake, trying to find the killer. He never found the killer, except in a few few comic books and movies, not not, oh, not majority of them. So, uh, yeah, he he gets it on. It, it, you know, it, it can control him, so he ends up on the side of a building. He sees who what it is. He starts enjoying it. He dresses differently. He acts differently. He does rage out a couple occasions in this movie, um, which is good because it shows that the suit is changing him. <laughs> People make fun of the fact about him strolling through the street all awesomely and dancing and grooving. And stuff. I don't have a problem with that. That's fine. You know, you never know. You know, you can do whatever with that suit, right? It'll do whatever. Um, I like how Dr. Connors is explaining to him what it's doing to his cells in the movie. One time he calls him um, while uh, the 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 owners the owner of the apartment he lives at's daughter is like feeding him cookies <laughs> while he's on the phone with Dr. Connors on the payphone on the outside of his apartment door. Uh, and then he's not listening, <laughs> barely, while he's like, um, so it's messing with your uh, cells here. I'm like, I don't care. Because he doesn't care with the suit on, right? Because it takes away the responsibility, which, why why it's dangerous for him to have that on because if he doesn't have that responsibility his whole uh ideas kind of chip away and break that is basically what happens i like that idea i'm liking the smoothness of my camera that i did anyway back to the main part main uh main parts so then he when he has a suit on he he's like he's like getting it with Gwen a little bit at the at this place takes her out on a date um but before that um Eddie uh tries to fake a picture and it basically Peter made found out that it was a fake and he rubbed it in his face to Jay Jonah and him him and uh, he got him in serious trouble. Fired. He got him fired. And he was really. And Eddie, Eddie was a little bit angry, right? So, you know, he's even across the street watching this a little bit as he's he's with Gwen. Um, so then he's you know partying, he's having fun, he's dancing around because he's messing with MJ because MJ is also there. She's a, she's the waitress. 
um, because she lost her uh, singing, her art, like her career, basically, of what she wanted to do in the in uh, Broadway. I think I think it was Broadway. So that's why she was angry, and that's why she kissed Harry and stuff. But she was upset about that, and so she's with the he's with this other girl, you know, 